Hey developers, let's take a look at basic data structures, linked lists, stacks, and queues. All right, let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and start off with a linked list. Now I went ahead and created a blog post on this a little bit earlier this week. So if you go to my website at programwitheric.com, I say I created a how to create a linked list stack and queue in JavaScript. So you can see here, there's this picture here you can see on the screen. The way a linked list works is you have these nodes and each node has a next and the next points uh, has a head and has data in it and has a next and the next points to the next node until you get all the way to the end and usually the next points to null. Um, there's different types of data structures. There's different types of linked lists. There's circular linked link lists. There's uh, double linked lists. But we're just gonna just look at a basic regular linked list right now. And we're gonna do it in JavaScript just because this is a JavaScript channel. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll create a function and we'll call it linked list. And inside that function, we're just gonna have this dot head. And so this is gonna be basically a constructor, an object constructor for us. And so the way object constructors work, we could always go linked list ll equals new linked list and then we can instantiate it that way but we're going to go ahead and, and we're just going to leave the head there and just for readability we're going to create a new another function here we're going to call it linked list and we're going to do something called a prototype here and we're going to add a new function called push and it's going to receive a value called val and I'm not going to get too much into prototypical uh, inheritance in how JavaScript does it, but maybe in a future video I'll talk a little bit more in depth on that. But basically, we're extending this linked list object here. So let's take a look here. So first thing we need to do is we need to have that node, and the node is going to have a value, and we're just going to call it val and it's going to have a next and like I said the next will point to the next value in our tree and not in our tree but in our linked list now we're going to say if this dot head if that doesn't exist then we're going to go ahead and create a new node for head so the new node object gets created if there isn't a head the head's a null else we're just going to use just a random global variable here, current equals this dot head. And we're going to move the pointer down until current, uh, we're going to keep moving it down until current dot next is no longer true. And then our temporary variable will equal node. So what we're doing here is we're using the prototype here, we're adding to our linked list. We have this object called node. If the value, if the head doesn't exist, it's an empty list, we're going to go ahead and create a new object called node. And then if it already exists, then we're going to keep going down, we're going to use a while loop to find the last value in our linked list. So going back to our diagram here, we're going to keep going all the way down, and then we're going to add a new node at the end, which we do here. So let's see if that works. So now I can do something like linked list ll equals new linked list. And then we can do ll.push. You can add some values to it. So uh, let's add 235. And I always get used to putting in semicolons, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll do ll.push123, ll.push456. And now we can see if this works. We'll do a console.log, and we'll do ll.head. 
see what's in there. So I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna save it first. Save it. I'm gonna run node app.js. Oops. Oh, I found my issue. Obviously, we're in JavaScript here, so we'll just do let ll here equals new linked list. Got it confused with something else. So I'm gonna clear this. Now we're gonna run it. Okay, there it is. So you can see on the screen here, we have the value, the first value is 235. The next points to the next object, which is the value is 123, which is the next one we pushed on the stack or on the linked list there. And the next one after that points to the next object, which has the value of 456. And that doesn't point anywhere, so it points to null. So that's the way you can do it there, just to get an idea of how this linked list is working. So let's take a look at a stack. So let's delete all this. Let's do delete it all. Now stack, I'm gonna cheat here a little bit. In stacks and queues are kind of the same way. So on the stack, we can just call just like we were going to do an array. And then in the stack, we can just push items onto it. And I can push three of them on there. And the way a stack works, I'll show you an example here. Uh, it's like, think of uh, you have a, a number of plates and you're pushing a plate down. So it's last in, first out, so you keep pushing plates in but when you take a plate off you take it off the top so it's always the last in first out so we're gonna push it in here and of course nice thing about JavaScript is we have we can pop it back off so if we go console.log and go stack pop we can pop it off so we'll do that three times we'll save it and we'll run it again you can see here I have the same number three times, so I'll do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll clear it here. Yep, there it is, seven, eight, nine. So you see the last one I pushed on the stack was seven, eight, nine. That's the first one that popped off. And then went four, five, six, and then one, two, three. So that is really simple there. We can do the same thing with queues. So we're going to let q equals so right here and then we put the items on the stack the same way so we q dot push so and the way the q works is just like a line you see at anywhere you are at the supermarket so you can see here from the example we nq and dq things off the the q and it's first in first out so if you were first there Gonna be the first out. So if we push, oops, I accidentally pasted all that stuff back. Two, three. So we can use something called DQ, or excuse me, shift. So console.log shift. And we can save it. And if we run our app again, you could see that we put it in one, two, three, and it shifts off one, two, three, just like a, a queue should. So that is two really quick and easy, simple examples of how to use three quick, easy, simple examples of how to use queues, linked lists, queues, linked lists, and stacks. Um, one other thing, if you're in Linux, you can actually push and pop directories off. I don't know if you knew this, but like let's say I'm in this directory called mount f programming js and I wanted to save it I can type in push d and then the name of the directory so I can just put dot here and that'll save it and if I'm in a different directory I can hit I can type in pop d and that will pop that back off the stack so in this case it brought me back and it changed directory back to the js directory I was in so if you're going really crazy places in your file system and you don't 
want to keep typing the full paths in, you can kind of push and pop the directories in and off and on and off the stack. So that's just a quick another example of how you can use kind of a stack. So thank you. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below and please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. Thanks and have a great day.